Welcome to IQ Checker YouTube channel, home of science quizzes and IQ tests. Question 1. Which of the following is an example of microorganism in action as a disease vector? Is it option A, B, C? Or D. A disease vector is an organism that transmits disease causing pathogens from one host to another. Female Anopheles mosquitoes can carry and transmit the plasmodium parasite, which causes malaria. So when an infected mosquito bites a person, it injects the parasite into the bloodstream leading to the transmission of the disease. So a mosquito is a vector. Question 2. Which of the following is a characteristic of cells related to irritability? Is it option A, B, C or D? Irritability, also known as responsiveness or excitability, refers to the ability of cells to detect and respond to various stimuli or changes in the environment. Question 3. The membrane around the vacuole is known as dash. Is it option A, B, C or D? The membrane around the vacuum is known as tonoplast. The tonoplast is the cytoplasmic membrane surrounding a vacuum, separating the vacuolar contents from the cell cytoplasm. It is also known as vacuolar membrane. Question 4. Which of the following is evidence of evolution? Is it option A, B, C or D? All the options provided are evidence of evolution, which supports the idea that species have evolved and changed. Question 5. Which of the following is an example of an adaptation for survival in social insects? Is it option A, B, C or D? Social insects such as ants and termites exhibit complex social structures and behaviors that contribute to their survival and success as a colony. Social insects organize themselves into specialized groups or castes, each with specific roles and functions. These castes can include workers, soldiers, drones, and queens. This division of labor and specialization enhances the efficiency of tasks within the colony, promoting survival and reproductive success. Question 6. Which of the following is not a part of the alimentary canal? Is it option A, B, C or D? The alimentary canal, also known as the digestive tract or gut, is a long tube that extends from the mouth to the anus and is responsible for the digestion and absorption of food. The organs that are part of the alimentary canal include the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. The liver produces bile, which aids in the digestion and absorption of fat, but is located outside of the alimentary canal. Question 7. Which of the following is an evolutionary trend commonly observed in organism? Is it option A, B, C or D? A 
evolutionary trends generally involve changes that occur over time in a population or species. One commonly observed trend is an increase in genetic diversity within populations. Genetic diversity refers to the variety of genetic traits and variations present within a population. To so increase genetic diversity and provide a population with a greater potential to adapt to changes in the environment as it provides a wider range of genetic material for natural selection to act upon. Please and please like this video, subscribe to this channel and click the bell button. It's totally free. Do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you. Question 8. Which of the following is a characteristic feature of Kingdom Plant A? Is it option A, B, C, or D? Kingdom Plant A is characterized by the presence of chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are the site of photosynthesis in plant cells, where light energy is converted into chemical energy. This is not to say that all organisms with chloroplasts belong to the plant A kingdom, but it is a common feature of this kingdom. Question 9. A biome characterized by hot summer, warm winter, and treeless vegetation is dashed. Is it option A, B, C, or D? A biome characterized by these features is the steep grassland. Steep grasslands are characterized by grassy plains without trees apart from those near rivers and lakes. The summers can be hot, sometimes 40 degrees Celsius or more, but winters are cold with temperatures often falling below freezing. Western time. Which of the following is an example of physiological variation in organism? Is it option A, B, C, or D? Physiological variation refers to differences in physiological traits or functions among individuals within a species. So blood pressure is a physiological parameter that can vary among individuals based on factors such as genetics, health conditions, lifestyle, and environmental influences. So physiological variation encompasses variations in functions, processes, and internal characteristics of organisms such as metabolic rates, hormone levels, enzyme activities, blood parameters, and other physiological traits. Question 11. Which of the following are components of the skeletal system in humans? Is it option A, B, C, or D? The skeletal system in humans is composed of bones and joints. Bones and joints are the primary components of the human skeletal system. Question 12. Which of the following represents an example of ecological management and conservation through a biological association? Is it option A, B, C, or D? Ecological management and conservation involve strategies and practices aimed at preserving and protecting natural ecosystems in their biodiversity. Among the options provided, the establishment of marine protected areas is an example of such management and conservation through a biological association. Western Texan. The term cell was given by Dash. Is it option A, B, C, or D? <laughs> the 
The term saw was given by Robert Hooke. The term saw was coined by Robert Hooke, and Robert Hooke also observed the honeycomb like structure under the microscope while cutting a thin section of cock. Hence, he named the structure as a cell. Question 14. Which of the following is the primary organ involved in gas exchange during respiration in humans? Is it option A, B, C, or D? The primary organ is the lungs. The lungs are a pair of respiratory organs located in the chest cavity. They are responsible for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the air and the bloodstream. Question 15. Which gland is responsible for producing the hormone insulin? Is it option A, B, C, or D? The pancreas is an organ located in the abdomen and it serves both digestive and endocrine functions. In terms of hormone production, the pancreas is responsible for producing insulin. Insulin plays a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels by facilitating the uptake of glucose into the cells. Please and please like this video, subscribe to this channel and click the bell button. It's totally free. Do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you. Question 16. Most fishes do not sink in water because of the presence of dash. Is it option A, B, C, or D? Fishes have a swim bladder or high bladder which helps them to remain buoyant without sinking in water. They are present in the body cavity. Question 17. In monohybrid inheritance, if an organism carries two different alleles for a particular gene, it is called what? Is it option A, B, C, or D? In monohybrid inheritance, the inheritance of a single gene is considered. An organism that carries two different alleles for a particular gene is referred to as heterozygous. The alleles have different versions or variations of the gene. Heterozygous individuals carry two different alleles, with one being dominant and the other recessive. Question 18. What is the tissue responsible for transporting water and minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant? Is it option A, B, C, or D? The tissue responsible is the xylem. Xylem is a complex tissue composed of specialized cells such as tracheids and vessel elements, which form long interconnected tubes. These tubes facilitate the upward movement of water and minerals through the plant. Xylem also provides mechanical support to the plant. Question 19. Which of the following is an example of an abiotic ecological factor? Is it option A? B, C, or D? <laughs> Abiotic ecological factors are non living factors that influence an ecosystem. They include physical and chemical factors such as temperature, sunlight, water, soil composition, and air quality. Question 20. Which of the following processes is involved in the reproduction of developing organisms? Is it option A, B, C, or D? <laughs> 
fertilization is the process by which the male and female gametes fuse to initiate the development of a new organism. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell button for notifications. Thank you.